Hi, it's Azim again from Redisco.com. In last video, we set up our React.js application and uh, in this video, we will start working on this application. Before I start working on this application, I just want to mention that uh, I am assuming that you guys have basic knowledge of uh, React.js. So I recommend you to just uh, go to YouTube or any your favorite place where you learn new things and uh, just uh, search for uh, react.js basics how to create components how to work with the uh, props uh, state stuff like that let's start this video first of all we are going to include a little package which is react strap And uh, this package is the implementation of uh, Bootstrap. So to install this, we have to run these commands. Terminal. And after that, we will run this command as well. Perfect. After that, we will import this CSS file in our index.js file and then we can start using React Strap package. Let's include that uh, CSS file. In our index file, I will just type it like this, and everything else looks fine. Let's close this window, and our React Strap package is also installed. And let's close this as well. Here, I'm just going to delete this because we are not going to test anything. I will delete this as well. Uh, delete this as well again. Remove import from here. And delete this as well. So with that, we have this file structure. In app.js file, I'm going to remove everything and remove this as well and i will just say in paragraph i will say my react app save it and let's go to our website and we have to restart our server in terminal let's close this and let's restart our server yes where we are including this file in index.js file we are not including any react file let's save this again that file was not saved now let's create folder in this source folder and let's call this components and in this folder i want to create new file and uh, i will call this file header header dot 
jsx i will use jsx extension for my components you can use uh, js as well but uh, this is uh, you know a react specific uh, extension so that's why i'm going to use this one that file is created in our main folder let me move this back to our components folder first of all we will import react and we will import component from react and then we will create our class which is header we will extend this class from this component and then we will just render this component by implementing this render function and we will send or return jsx from this and right now i'm just going to say header okay let me go to react strap documentation in components let's go to navbar and i want to use this navbar in our application so what i will do i will copy this toggle function and i will paste it here save it i will convert this function to arrow function so let's say is equal to and we will state is equal to and default state is close okay now let me copy this import paste it here with that i can grab this whole jsx and paste it here just like this uh because we are not going to create uh, any links so that's why i will just remove all these links from here of course in future videos we will include links as well and brand name is chat app and we can remove this these imports as well because we are not using them with that setup we should get our header and in our app.js file we can let's render react dot fragment and in this fragment we will render our let's import header import header from and before that we should export this header so export default header close this and here we can import this header from components folder and then we can get our header file and now we can use this header just like this let's refresh our application and now we have this nice header at top of our application